In this video, we're going to take you inside one of London's West End theatres. This is the Vaudeville on the Strand, and today we're going off to C6. Now, we can't bring you any of the performance, obviously for copyright reasons, but let's show you inside a West End theatre. And I get many requests for this. So this is the entrance, and it just goes to show you how small this theatre actually is, because you've got the ticket office, the snacks, and also the wardrobe over there on the right. Then you come out to the first floor where you've got all of the merch, plus you've also got a bar area as well. Of course, for intervals, it'll be fantastic, but a lot of the West End theatre productions now start and then they go all the way through to the finish. And the one that we are seeing here, which is six, which is about the six wives of King Henry VIII, was only 80 minutes long in total. Hence, there was no way it was gonna have a break halfway through, but you can see the deco on the ceilings here as well. When people think of theatre land in London, they think naturally of Shaftesbury Avenue with a number of theatres down there. But London has got theatres all spread out. This, the Vaudeville Theatre in the Strand, was originally opened in 1870 and it's one of the smallest with only 690 seats. If you're coming to London and thinking of taking in a show, the earlier you can book it, the better. And sometimes you can get some absolute bargain seats, but one other thing you've got to be really, really careful of, if it's a bargain seat, just make sure that you haven't got a pillar or a post in front of you. And your best way of finding out is going direct to that theater's website, where it will give you a seating plan. Because often the really cheap seats, you are stuck behind a pillar or a post, which supports the whole building. This theatre itself has been rebuilt twice, and it was one of the first theatres and still has the rare thunder drum and lightning sheets, and it was still used as an early stage mechanism, and it survives today in this theatre. If you've been to London, let us know what theatre productions that you've seen in the comments down below, and what you thought of them, and whereabouts it was you went to go and see them. It'd be really interesting to see what your experiences were. The theatre is just one of those many places that people love to come if they're coming to London. And another great place that people love to go is Covent Garden. So I'll put a link to our video in the top right hand corner of 10 fantastic things to do over at Covent Garden. So if you click on that link, I'll see you in there.